talk about the difference between uh, a standard glass and an ED glass, which is sometimes referred to as HD. Um, you'll hear, and other manufacturers might use the term fluorite. Um, basically, what that means is that uh, a spotting scope that has ED, HD, or fluorite glass, it has an extra glass element in there, and that element uh, just allows the optical system to have less chromatic aberration. And what chromatic aberration is, is color fringing, um, especially around the edge of the field. Whenever you have an um, object you're looking at that's got a lot of contrast, you'll get a little bit of fringe color on that object. All right, now why is it important to have uh, ED or HD glass? Um, um, what is eliminating that color fringing um, really uh, accomplishing for you? Well, uh, the biggest thing is when you're glassing at really long ranges, um, let's say you're looking at a deer or something with antlers on it, and uh, that uh, those antlers at a real long distance um, without ED or HD glass, that's where you're going to get that color fringing, and it's going to be hard to pick out the detail maybe be able to see how many points are on that deer um, and so with the ED or HD glass that's really going to give you that fine detail to pick out um, each one of those tines on that antler and to see how big that buck is. Um, if you're going to be taking pictures with this scope absolutely um, it's definitely worth it. Um, if you're doing a lot of really long range viewing, um, especially out west, um, that's where I think the ED, HD glasses are really critical. Um, if it's uh, you know closer ranges, the Midwest, Eastern United States, where you're only talking maybe 100 yards or so, then it's not quite as critical to have that. But western hunting and, and for photography, definitely.